What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we are working overtime. It is 10 o'clock at night. We got our best beginner's guide for the global launch of Grim Guard Tactics. Like and sub for more amazing gaming content. Game just dropped, we got a bunch to go over, so let's get into this. Uh, my account is still from the beta, so that's why mine kind of looks a little weird. But for pre-registration, we got an amazing, amazing hero. So let's head on over to our heroes right now. Take a look at the ones that I got, but this guy right here, the Arbiter, this is an amazing Archer character. Uh, the purple is considered legendary. These are like the best. I know purple is typically looked at as like epic, but for this game, purple color represents a legendary character. So this is absolutely an amazing guy. Everyone gets him for free. Definitely highly recommend you invest in him, especially once you get him to level 20. If you can get him to level 20 as fast as possible, because once you do that, you're gonna unlock what I would say is one of the real fun parts of this game and that is going to be the subclasses so right here in the bottom right you can see that the subclasses is locked but once we reach level 20 with this character then we can go ahead and choose a subclass and then it just gets into a whole nother thing of a whole nother video that we'll go over but that is something i just want to look out for heavily invest in this guy he is worth it next thing i want to go over is our stats because you have the potential to get what's called a boosted stat when you pull a character so for your pre-registration character i believe this is random as well so you could get um this same character but you could get boosted stats so you can see for me i have one boosted stat and that is going to be in the dexterity column now the way you can determine this is by two different things the first thing you're going to look for is the circle so characters are going to have a little circle icon around the specific stat that is their main stat that they kind of like prioritize that their class basically goes off of. The boosted stat is gonna be glowing. See how this one is glowing and you're gonna see that little plus icon. So the plus icon with the glow means it is a boosted stat. Now you can get up to three different stats boosted, which is really cool. It's completely RNG. So you could be lucky or you cannot be lucky. Now there's a couple different ways that you can use the rubies, but the main most recommended way I have for you is gonna be through buildings. So. The way this game works is you can see that we got a bunch of different areas. We got our heroes area, shop, hospital, recruit, forge, guild, dungeon. Now these specific ones down here, it has a build system to it. So if we take a look in the right corner right here, it says building level. So we can actually go ahead and upgrade this building by doing some different kinds of upgrades. So if I click over here on this, we can see that we got two different things that we need to upgrade. We have upgrade our training and we also have upgrade the capacity. And then once we go ahead and we upgrade both of these, it'll go to the next building level. The upgrade requirements for me to get to capacity level four is 500 of those rubies, diamonds, gems, whatever the hell you want to call them. So that is very, very important to keep in mind that you want to save those rubies for these upgrades because if you don't you know you could be potentially stuck for a very long time not being able to upgrade this but this is the the most important building that you want to upgrade like as fast as possible the maximum because upgrading the forge is going to make your gear so much stronger the forge is where you go ahead and you get gear and gear is very very important in this game we have some event dungeons that you really need to be paying attention to and doing this one right here which is risky business 30 chambers, all heroes are welcome in here and it closes in six days. The other event we have is the Star Oracle's Vault. This is gonna be 50 chambers and this is gonna close in 14 days. This is the dungeon that you really wanna be doing right now um, before anything else. So instead of the risky business or whatever, do the Star Oracles. The reason behind it is if we go ahead into this, all the way at chamber 50, you are gonna get five Star Oracle contracts that you can use to hire heroes from the Star Oracle Caravan, which is the gotcha system. We'll go over the gotcha system in a second. But once you go ahead and get to chamber 50 and you complete it, you're getting five free summoning scrolls, summoning uh, contracts, whatever you wanna call it. So very, very important, um, absolutely amazing that you really wanna look out for that. The way the dungeons work are, 
you're gonna come over here and it works by like stages. So for this event dungeon, the minimum is three. So if I go ahead and I do three heroes, it's only going to cost me three of those torches. So right now I could potentially go into the event dungeon just using three heroes. Basically what you do is you use the torches to buy into the dungeon and then whatever characters are in this lineup, they are locked into the dungeon until you click retreat. So whatever characters you have in this dungeon going on, they will not be able to be used in the campaign stages. So if you use all of your best heroes to do a dungeon run and you're still like in the middle of doing it and then you're like, oh, I wanna go do the campaign instead um, because you see your campaign energy is refilled, you will not be able to use the heroes that you have in the dungeon until you go ahead and click retreat. There's gonna be a little retreat button that's gonna show up. So keep that in mind, it's very important. So we come in here and let's say I'm gonna use um, five characters. It's gonna cost me five of those torches. So right now I have 31. So once I click battle, it's gonna minus five and then I'm going to start my dungeon run. So we're gonna start in chamber one. You're gonna battle, do, you're gonna battle the enemy. Then you're gonna go to chamber two, chamber three, so on and so forth. And like I said, it's just, it's a one-time buy-in. So you're not gonna keep using the torches for every single chamber. You just use them once to just buy into it and then you're going to just keep going. Now, if you get to a point where you're stuck and you're just not strong enough and you wanna just get your rewards, then you're gonna click retreat and retreating is going to send all of the characters back home so then you can use them in the campaign and you're gonna get all the rewards from all the, all the chambers that you completed. So like every time you complete a chamber, you're gonna have this little reward bank. And then you don't get that reward though until you click retreat. And once you click retreat, it's going to start you back on chamber one if you wanna do it again. So you can do this as many times as you want if you have the torches. So like I already did it once and I got up to like, what did I get up to? I got up to like 37 or 38 or something. Um, and then I clicked retreat and I got my rewards. And then if you want to do it again, you got to start all over again at chamber one and you got to buy into it again. So it's a little bit confusing, I know, because the game doesn't really like explain it that well. Um, but that's how it works. You can just do it as many times as you want. So hopefully you understand. I try to explain it the best I can. You really want to make sure you get to chamber 50 every single time you do one of these runs. Now let's head on over to the recruit. So we have this one right here, which is the recruit one. And we have a bunch of other ones, but this is the exclusive recruit right here. Complete act one. I got to complete act one to get into this, but you can see this one says one guaranteed boosted stat. So if we click the little eye icon, our boosted stat chances a hundred percent that we're going to get one hero with a boosted stat. Uh, two boosted stats is going to be 52% and then three boosted stats is only 8% and you can kind of see the odds down here but this right here really good banner to go ahead and pull from it's the star oracle contract banner so like I said that's why you want to do that event because that event is going to give you five of these every time you reach chamber 50 and clear it and then this banner you know you have a chance to get a three boosted stat hero and even if they're like a green hero it's still really really good um the other thing i forgot to go over is the rarities um the purples you obviously want to keep the blues you also want to keep um the grays are really bad so these gray ones these are an insta cell so click the little x icon and you just retire them i would not even use the grays now if you're free to play early game you're gonna have to use some of the greens so like some of these greens, I wouldn't sell unless you're going to be a big spender and spend a ton of money or whatever, you know, and then you get a bunch of blues and purples um, and then you don't need the, the greens. But if you're free to play, you're going to need to invest in some of the greens like the healer is a good one. I mean, you need a healer on your team in general. So just having a healer is important. Um, a warrior guy, he's not too bad either. Hopefully this helps and you have a little bit of a better understanding and uh, let me know if you want me to make more videos on this game. Stay happy, stay safe, I'll see you later, peace.